heart of the centrifugal blower is the bearing housing. The bearings, the shaft, the impeller, the pulley, that determines how long your blower is going to last. We decided a long time ago we wanted to make the best bearing housing that we possibly could. And when we first started doing this, we outsourced our manufacturing to other suppliers, other machine shops, basically. The problem we ran into with those is that Sometimes we would have a situation where they'd say, well, the best we can do is six weeks. Then that made our customers' orders late. And also then we'd get the parts and the parts would be out of specs. So we were like, well, this isn't gonna work if we want the best blower on the market. We're gonna have to start making our own parts. This isn't the sort of thing that you can just pick up from a manufacturer's website. Each of our bearing housings are custom made to whatever blower they correspond with. When you're looking at centrifugal design, you really have to take a step-by-step -step approach as the air is moving through the unit. And so we'll model our flow path and then we'll design an impeller that's gonna hit those targets and a balloon that's gonna work with that impeller in. Now, because we're designing everything in house and then it's getting machined one building over, that allows me as an engineer to see the process through. You'll have a part that's stationary and one that's spinning at 20,000 RPM. And when you have a clearance so thin like that, all of those little details, as far as the machining, as far as the checking during quality, they really do matter for the product that we make. With the bearing manufacturers, we found out the best way to make the bearing housing was to do it in a clean environment because our bearings are so precise that any contaminant, dust or dirt getting in the bearings will shorten the life of the blower. So we built a clean room and we assemble our blowers in a clean room environment. We have a precision cleaning machine called a vapor degreaser that cleans all of the components before assembly. Then during assembly, we have a pretty detailed quality control process. Especially when you're designing turbo machinery like we are, your tolerances, your clearances very, very much matter as to whether your bearings are gonna break 10 years down the line or whether they're gonna break two years down the line. We are ISO certified to ensure that we have full transparency over anything that's going on in our process. Anytime a change is going to be made, we can incorporate really stringent gd &T that really does matter when you look at longevity in the product. Just looking at efficiency alone, it more than pays for itself. Obviously, it depends on your specific case, but if you're operating 25, 30% more efficient, and before you were spending five grand a year, well now you're spending like three grand. That alone is probably gonna pay for itself within a year or two. So after our bearing housings are assembled, we go through what's called a run-in procedure. And that brings the bearings from a very slow speed up to a very fast speed gradually over time. And it takes about four hours. If you do this immediately, then it disperses the grease and your blower won't last the way it should. Once our bearing housings are run in, the next thing we do is balance them. So that's done on a special machine and balancing is essential to your unit running properly. One thing that's brought us a lot of success has been deciding that we want to develop these new products and we invest in the equipment to do it, the people to do it. Then we, we have something we didn't have a few years earlier and we continually do that over and over again. I would just say the investment that SACT has put in if he weren't putting in that investment and if we hadn't had this sort of plan ahead of time, we would have never been positioned to do what we do today. Because that costs money to develop new products. I think we're doing more of it than a lot of our competitors and I think that's why we're probably growing faster than some of our competitors. We don't just want customers to look at Republic ads somewhere where they can go pick up a blower. We want our customers to understand that we're doing everything we can to make the best product we possibly can. I, as an engineer, I don't ever try and just get anything out the door. I personally take a lot of pride in making sure that what we're putting out is going to be as high quality as it possibly can.